Hi there everybody, my name is Stephen of York and I have just released this, my first album on number 7 records, it's called Surrealty and um, it's available on iTunes as well as on my website stephenofyork.com Let me take the next 2 or 3 minutes to talk to you about the software package which I use to generate the music, it's called Sample Tank and it's made by IK Multimedia and I use Sample Tank to make all the instrumental sounds that you will hear on the album when you buy it because I know you're going to buy it, correct? Sample Tank, made by IK Multimedia, loads in your Cakewalk or your Cubase sequencer to actually act as a virtual synthesizer. There are many, many sounds available to you, be they synthesizer type sounds, orchestral uh, samples such as violins, woodwind, brass, you name it. There's even drum loops as well, uh, any percussion sound you'd care to choose for, and you can also import your own sounds in as well. You can also buy expansion CDs which have more and more sounds on them for you to put into the, into the VST or the virtual synthesizer and um, it really makes for a very very powerful package. I spent less than $400 on the product and it gives me much better results I think than a hardware synthesizer that would cost about $4,000. Fits into your PC as long as you have about half a gigabyte of, of RAM and plenty of space on your hard drive you're really in good shape and I really do like Sample Tank a lot. It helped me create my CD for a very very little cost. In fact, so for under $1,000, including all the computer hardware and the software, I made this album in a bedroom studio, and it's just so, so simple to do with Sample Tank. We're going to move the camera over in a few minutes to look at the actual screenshots and, and how some of the instruments that I used in a particular track were pulled from Sample Tank and, and how I can actually show you how I auditioned those sounds, chose them for the final recording. So without further ado, let's have a look at the screen. Okay, well, here's... Um sample tank and uh, you can hear the song called Moon Tides in the background that I'm playing. This area here in sample tank actually shows you the actual instruments that you've got loaded. Here are my controls for adjusting all the parameters and um, here's a keyboard here which is used for auditioning the sounds. As you can hear I have some piano going, I have some background strings Soon you'll hear some female choir, and I also have some organ going as well. There's a bass guitar that's in the background as well that's um, a very, very good sample. Let's just take a look at um, Sample Tank a little bit closer now. Okay, let's zoom in and take a closer look at Sample Tank here. As you can see, this section here has the sounds or the names of the voices that will be included in the song. Here, you can just see on the edge of the screen, Moontide, which is the name of, of a file. That's the same name as the song that contains these instruments so when I'm editing I can just call that back up and I've instantly got all the sounds that go into that particular song. I have acoustic grand pianos one and two, strings here, I've got my neck fingered which is the bass guitar, a female choir and a church organ. So I'm just going to go up to here and I'm also going to select um, something here on my cue bass so that I can actually select the channel, the MIDI channel which is channel one and just go ahead and play something so you can hear it. That was the grand piano. Um, let's play the strings right now. So here are my strings and it's a really great sound. Let's listen to the female choir now. So we just click on here and let's get some female vocals. And finally, let's do the church organ, shall we?
And that's it. Let's just zoom out now and let's take a look at some of the other controls we see on the actual uh, sample tank software. Just to adjust the camera here a little bit so I can zoom back in and um, I'll take that there. What I want to show you here are these analog controls. This is what you see um, in the old fashioned um, analog uh, synthesizers of yesterday, but really the good thing about Sample Tank here is that you actually have that flexibility for those um, controls, the rotational and uh, switched controls, that really make it easy to adjust the digital parameters. As you know, in the hardware synthesizers of today, we have um, menus and LCD screens and just push buttons, but with Sample Tank you've got a lot of flexibility, so you can twist these knobs and adjust parameters, any parameter you like, and then also here you've got the Windows type menu, so if you want to look at uh, changing an effect, for instance, a whole array of um, uh, different parameters appear from this pull down menu, which is a very good function to have. You have a lot more flexibility with the software um, than you do with, with the hardware, and the bigger the screen the better of course, but this is a, a 15 inch monitor and it does very very well. I mentioned that this uh, little keyboard here that's used for, for, for auditioning a sound if you don't want to switch, you know, go backwards and forwards between your, your hardware keyboard and the software all the time. Just pick a, pick a, um, a sound. From the, on the right hand side here I have my database of sounds which I can go and, and search or just um, audition different sounds. Here's all my organs. There's a vast array of organs in the sample tank. So um, that allows me to quickly audition a sound if I like and then I can just go ahead and incorporate that in the actual uh, song. And that, in a nutshell, is Sample Tank. Thanks very much for listening to me talk about Surrealty, my first album, and of course about Sample Tank from IK Multimedia. Were it not for IK Multimedia, I would not have been able to make this album. It's so easy to use, the range of sounds are incredible, and the user interface is intuitive. Surrealty can be best described as a cross between classical and rock. So if you mix Mozart, Bach, and Pink Floyd together, you're going to get something that sounds like surrealty. Go to stephenofyork.com, all one word. Listen to the music stream, or download the MP3s, or buy the CD. Thank you once again for listening.